On June 21st, 1964, three young men, two white and one black, set out to learn more about the burning of a church in Neshoba County, Mississippi. James Earl Cheney, 21 years old. Andrew Goodman, 20 years old. Michael Henry Schwerner, 24 years old. Young men. And in that Freedom Summer, these three Americans refused to sit on the sidelines. Their brutal murder by a gang of Ku Klux Klan members shook the conscience of our nation. It took 44 days to find their bodies, 41 years to bring the lead perpetrator to justice. And while they're often remembered for how they died, we honor them today for how they lived, with the idealism and the courage of youth. James, Andrew, and Michael could not have known the impact they would have on the civil rights movement or on future generations. And here today, inspired by their sacrifice, we continue to fight for the ideals of equality and justice for which they gave their lives. Today, we are honored to be joined by James's daughter, Angela, Andrew's brother, David, and Michael's wife, Rita. Angela Lewis, receiving on behalf of her father, James Earl Cheney, David Goodman, receiving on behalf of his brother, Andrew Goodman, and Rita Schwerner Bender, receiving on behalf of her husband, Michael Henry Schwerner. In 1964, three young men sought to right one of the many wrongs of the Jim Crow era by joining hundreds of others to register black voters in Mississippi during Freedom Summer. Their work was fraught with danger, yet their commitment to justice was so strong that they were willing to risk their lives for it. Their deaths shocked the nation, and their courage has never been forgotten. James Earl Cheney, Andrew Goodman, and Michael Henry Schwerner still inspire us. Their ideals have been written into the moral fabric of our nation, from the landmark civil rights legislation enacted days after their deaths, to our continued pursuit of a more perfect union. <laughs> 